with uh, JP Couvert, correct yeah. on that one? Yeah, yeah. So with a book like that, um, it's not yeah. quite not quite a picture book, but those uh, pictures are absolutely instrumental in telling Very the story. So. And I've, yeah. I've seen you multiple places wearing a T-shirt uh, with the drawing of Charlie <laughs> Joe Jackson on it. So I'm, I'm assuming you're on board with the final product. Um, <laughs> board, yeah. How much uh, influence did you have on those illustrations? How how uh, closely did you work with J.P. Kubert? Well, it's a it's a good question, and it tends to to the answer tends to surprise people, especially people who who are familiar with how it works. Uh, kids, for example, in 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 the school visits I do, this never fails to amaze kids, um, because the fact is I don't really work with the illustrator at all. What happens is the editor, my wonderful editor Nancy Mercado, who edited the Charlie Joe series, uh, she offered me, I believe, three illustrators to look at and said these are the these are the three people I've honed in on um, they didn't draw anything for Charlie Joe at that point she was just showing me their portfolios and together we picked JP who was a cartoonist and a, a comic strip creator I think in Minneapolis uh, I'm not sure if that's entirely correct but in the Midwest somewhere and he'd, he'd done one or two other children's books but not too many and we, what, once we selected him to be the illustrator of the books, Nancy's the one who goes off and works with him and picks the moments the, for him to illustrate within the book. They create the character together. She did show me some early renderings of Charlie Joe specifically because we both knew how important that was. And there were a couple of early attempts that I thought, I think, as, as I recall, I think... I thought that they were a little young looking. There were there were things that needed to be tweaked and I participated in those conversations, but only through Nancy who would then relay these notes back to JP. So he and I never worked directly together at all. And that, that's been the case on all, all of my illustrated books. It's always done through the, illust uh, the editor as a, as a middle person. Um, which at first I was like, is it really? I mean, I think anybody who's new to the business would be surprised by that, any writer. But as surprise um, slash horrified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that that um I didn't realize that it would be that church and state. But as uh, over time I realized that it, it makes more it does make the most sense for that for it to be that way, for the editor to be the gatekeeper of all the creative materials. And we, I help pick the moments that should be illustrated, and then I will see sketches of the illustrations. And all along the way, I'm allowed to kind of participate in the final product of the illustrations as a note giver, not as a not as a collaborator, really. And it's it's worked it's worked really well by and large. In all fairness, I've uh, I'm being a little facetious. I work with my cover artist uh, Stephen Novak to design yeah. all these wonderful covers. Yeah. Um, I usually start with some kind of concept and, and give him an idea. Or yep. I've worked with my illustrator Adam Smith as well. And what I found consistently is if that's what I was good at, I'd be doing it. Yep. <laughs> so it's usually better for me to just say, well, maybe this, maybe that, and then <laughs> get out of the way and let them do what they do because that that's, that's why they are who they are. I've written one picture book, uh, a book called Hooked, which unfortunately I don't have in front of me, but um, it's a book about a boy ice fishing with his dad. And that was also published by Macmillan about four or so years ago. And that was, that, that was a real eye opener because I wrote the text and said, I had, it started as a short story actually in a, in a magazine called StoryWorks that Scholastic puts out. And I took it to Macmillan and I said, I have a great idea for, I think this could be a great picture book. I have this person who illustrated it and uh, for the, for the magazine. And I have a couple of other illustrators and they basically patted me on the head, like a, like a nice little boy and said, oops, I'm sorry. Patted me on the head and said, this is lovely. And we actually are interested in the text, but you just leave the illustrator to us. Um, you go over here and wait, and when we have an illustrator that we think is appropriate, we'll let you know. And Rob, I kid you not, it took three years. Three years between me selling the text of that picture book and them coming back and saying, we've talked to a bunch of people, and this is the guy we've settled on, this great illustrator named David McPhail. And For three years, then, are you just in a state of despair of, oh, oh no, my book's not going to happen after all? 
there were moments where I totally thought it wasn't going to happen. And I'd heard stories of, of the length of time it takes for a picture book to happen because illustrators have projects backed up and the, the, the kind of putting the puzzle together is apparently a real, a real saga, but I'd heard that it takes a year to, to bring an illustrator on board or a year and a half. So three years, I was, I, I was pretty sure that, the book had kind of just fallen by the wayside. Um, so I was they thrilled. At least giving you some money? <laughs> <laughs> giving me a bit of an advance, and uh, which was nice. But, you know, when you write a picture book, I mean, you write any children's book, actually, you know, you're never really doing it for the money because you're lucky if money comes your way. But um, the idea that anybody would go into writing books for children for money is comical, of course. But in picture books, it's kind of that times two because you're, it's just a complete crapshoot whether the advances are, are, at least for me, it was, it was low. And so I assume the publisher could have said, if we never find an illustrator for this book, it's not the end of the world. So, but to their credit, they found an illustrator, a great illustrator. I was thrilled with how the book came out. But that was a situation where he just drew the pictures sent them in and the book was put together by the editor. I didn't really have much to do with how the illustrations came out at all. And there are other stories about picture books. I, I'm, I'm, I have a lucky and a happy story, but I do know some authors who have been unthrilled with how the illustrations ended up working with their original text. So you never, you never know. Um, I've been blessed with, with, great illustrators, I think, in all my series and, and sensitive editors who have found the right people. So it's worked out well for me. But, it, but if you're not a writer illustrator, if you're just a writer, you know that you're putting your illustrations in the hands of, of your editors and your illustrators and ultimately not having that much to do with how they ultimately come out. Makes sense to me. And then yeah. um, now I, let me ask you this. At, at this point in your career, now that you're the Tommy Greenwald uh, <laughs> that you <laughs> had several success yeah, series. Um, you're uh, starring on the middle grade ninja podcast. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much this is, this is the pinnacle, baby. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> so at, at this point, do you have a, a little bit more sway than you maybe did early on? Or is it about the same? Not the same. I mean, I, I, the, the most recent series illustrated series that I'm working on is this, is this kind of, funny sweet zombie series called project z and i don't really want to call it a zombie series because there's only one zombie in it everybody else is a real human person um but again this was a this this hev heavily really quite heavily illustrated actually this is this is a galley so it's hard to see um there's only a few illustrations in the galley but the ultimate book is going to be quite heavily illustrated um, you can see a couple of illustrations. Um, and, uh, and that's going to be coming out in May? That's coming out in May, yeah. And again, it was, it was I think I was shown one or two illustrators, and, and we picked this guy, Dave, who's done a really nice job. But even though I am the Tommy Greenwald, uh, <laughs> it's still not really a situation where I can dictate the, the illustrator. I, I'm going to be curious to know. I'm sure there are there are plenty of writers who do reach the level where they say, I want this guy to draw the pictures for my books, but I ain't there yet. I don't know if I'll ever get there. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe we'll talk to James Patterson someday and he'll be like, no, <laughs> they won't let me pick. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. That's possible. He I might heard... say, might say I don't want to pick. I, you know, I leave it to them and just I'm a sure quick, he puts apocryphal his... tale that, that may or may not be true because you know how these things get passed around. I didn't hear it from yeah. James Patterson himself, but yeah. I did hear once that he was booked at a uh, bookstore in Florida for a signing and yeah. he showed up and they didn't have his books. He had to go to his car and get boxes out. And I, I'm, this is... Is, I heard this within the last 10 years. So this is post Alex <laughs> Cross. <laughs> that is not good. That is, that, that is, you don't want to. He's the wrong guy to forget forget the books of because he's he's an ace. Everybody knows how prolific he is, but he's also incredibly generous with his donations of, of books to schools and to bookstores and to indie bookstores. 
So you, we want to stay on James Patterson's good side, I would imagine. And James Patterson, if by any chance you're you're hearing or watching this, and you're saying, "Well, that's not true," don't tell me. I'm really clinging <laughs> to that story. When I have book signings that go bad, I need to think. Oh, even James Patterson put up with this. What's up with this? Is it all clear of the uh, record? <laughs> yeah.